Hi friends, in some situations you will be required to inverse data like the transpose function which does the switching of rows and columns. There is no direct formula to inverse the complete data range upside down in the Excel software. Now watch this video on how to inverse the entire data range. Now in this example, let's consider 10 people and their corresponding score. And now let's start inversing the order here. Of course, the simplest method is to add one additional column and let's name the column as order change and then type the sequencing of this data range starting from 1 to 10 in the order and then select the entire data range starting from C5 to E14 and go to this filter in the menu bar and select the custom sort and then from the drop down you can select the sort by and the column E order change and change the sorting order as largest to smallest so as to inverse the entire order of the data range. Got it right? Other than this, let's do something more automated and smarter way by using formulas. Now let me undo this all this. Here I will be using a combination of two formulas index and rows function here. And let us understand what is rows function. Rows function will extract the number of rows in any selected array. Now let's try this. I am typing the rows function as equal to rows and selecting first column C5 to C14. It will be giving the result as 10. If I change the range of data now to be showing as 9. So you understood right. Then similarly the index function. You know index function looks up an array and picks a cell value with the reference of row number and column number. It's similar like we look up. Now let's try it out. I type the formula as equal to index, open the bracket, select the entire range starting from C5 to D14 and then type the row number as 1 comma column number as 1. Then it will be giving me the cell value of the first cell of the array that is Durga. Got it right? So let's start using these two formulas and let's perform the uh, reversing of the order. I type the formula as in the first cell equal to index open the bracket and then select range from C5 to D14 as an array and then lock both the references. Press F4 button to this. Then comma type now rows open the bracket select the range of column 1 that is C5 to C14 and then lock C14 that is the last row. So when you drag the formula downwards it would be resulting the rows number as 9, 8, 7. So I will be locking the C14 last row reference and then type the column number as 1. Got it right? We have got the last cells value as ROM now here. Now drag the formula downwards till last row. Can you observe the result now? It's exactly the inverse data. Similarly, drag the formula to the right side and change the column number to 2 from 1. We'll be getting the score of the ROM person. That is 81. And now drag the same formula to the bottom of the table. Then you can observe the desired result of inversing the exact data range of the available data. You can even use some of the smarter ways like using VLOOKUPS and uh, MATCH function even. So this is all about inversing the order of data range in your Excel sheet. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.